Hello there. So this is part two in our series of short videos about building a Java app to extract issue data from Jira. Uh, in this particular episode, we'll send up the skeleton of our Java class. On, and in future videos, we'll fill out the functionality. But for now, uh, we'll just get started coding. So um, we'll create the class. We'll add some function declarations for each of the, the main things we need to do. Uh, and then we'll just give it a quick test. To start off, we'll just launch literally any text editor. <laughs> I've chosen brackets today. Uh, you can use whatever you like. Um, let's get started. Public class. I'm going to call this automate. And we'll close it off there. And public static void main. String args. And close that up. Whoops. String args. It needs to be a string array. And then that's our main. This should run all by itself. Um, but we're going to also throw in uh, some of those function declarations that we need. Now we need to do five basic things here to get data out of Jira and save it to a file. The first one is log into Jira. The second thing we'll need to do is parse out our J session ID. And uh, that uh, once we've done our login, we've authenticated to Jira, it will send us back a response that contains a, a session ID called the J session ID that we can then use to authenticate future requests. After we've, we've parsed out that J session ID, we'll then insert it into other requests as a cookie and we will then use it to get data. And I'm calling it JSON data here because later we'll have CSV version of this same data. So first we'll get our JSON data and then uh, when we're done with that we need to format it as a um, CSV. And the last thing we need to do is, is write it to file. So those are the five basic things which we need to do and we can turn them all into function declaration. Uh, yeah, function declarations here. So static so the login response will return a string to us and then we'll parse out that string so public static string so the json the j session id will also be a string that comes back to us when we're done with this function public static json date well it's json so it will be a string that comes back to us And when we format it as CSV, that is a also a string of data in just a different format from our JSON. And then finally, we write it to file. And I'm going to put in a return type here, just success or failure of this write operation. So that is our, that's all of our function declarations. So we need to call them then from within main. So up here in main, we will we'll, we'll call them log into. Oh, I should have cut and pasted this earlier. Um, we'll parse our J session. So we'll we'll call them after uh, we've started the program. It will call these functions in this order. And we will set them up to do that now. Each of these is returning something, isn't it? So we will need things for it to put its result into variables. We'll start off with a string, let's call it login response. We'll initialize it to empty, but then we'll use it here. So login response equals login to Jira, the result from login to Jira. And we'll have CRJ session ID, which we'll do the same thing for. We'll have a, a JSON data that we'll get back. When we call the get JSON data function, then we'll have CSV data. So that will be a string CSV data. And lastly, we'll have a Boolean write to file output. And we'll just, should we initialize it to false or true? How about? pessimist. So we've got our login response. We'll get back our J session ID then. We'll get back our whoops, JSON data, JSON, CSV, we'll come in there, and then write to file, which we will get there. 
semicolons and that is our basic skeleton uh, except that if we try to compile this we'll get errors because we're not actually returning anything yet so let's pop this in um, string I'm just going to name them the same as I call them in main um, because that means I can cut and paste then and they're in different scope anyway so it shouldn't interfere with our declarations up here so I can use the same and don't have to but I can so I will and a boolean and then once we've done that for each of these we can return login response return j session id and so forth json data and returning our csv data return what return csv data and finally return write to file output okay so let's save this, right? And we'll call it automate because that's the name of our class. It's a Java file, yes. And text formatting, I like that, a highlighting. Let's give it a test then. New desktop, test, that's my folder. And there's my automate class. So we'll call Java on automate.java. Oh, it compiled. I wonder then if it runs. It did not give any errors. That's good. It didn't give any output either. So maybe at the... Well, we'll save that for later. We have a skeleton created. Um, it does not error out. It describes the five basic things that we need to do. And um, I think we'll leave it there. So in uh, so that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll start filling out this this first function that we call log into Jira, and I will see you then.